Hello and welcome to Fiona's Creative Canvas. I'm Fiona and I'm back from holidays. Uh, I felt like doing something a bit fun. I actually tried something yesterday and I hadn't been back long. I was very tired because the plane got in late and it was just an absolute disaster. So I've taken a bit more time today um, to uh, come up with something a bit better and I'm going to go back to doing a swipe. Now I've got these Montmartre colours here at the back. I've got the soft gold, the brass and the bronze. And then at the front I have, this is the uh, Liquitex Basics Iridescent White. And I've used this in these three as well and then added another colour to tint it. So I have the Amsterdam Turquoise in this one. Then I've mixed the um, the Prussian blue phalo here, and this colour is just absolutely beautiful. Let me just show you. It's just, I love it. So that's that one. And then this last one is the uh, Reeves Payne's Grey with um, iridescent white. And that's also come up like a um, sort of a charcoal y gunmetal colour looks really good so I'm hoping for a, a lot of shimmer in this piece I've got my swipe mix here which I hope is the right consistency um, I've made it with Australian flow troll and where have I put it oh, here we go. and my Amsterdam titanium white so it's one part Amsterdam titanium white and three parts Australian flow troll, and that's what I've mixed for my swipe mix. A lot of you have asked, so that's what I've used. So I'm going to do puddles, and this time I have to remember I want to do a bit of a mix through. Then with my swipe, I want to see if I can leave a little bit of negative space with some blocks of colour. So let's get started. Okay, so I've got a 12 by 24 inch canvas here. Uh, let's start putting some puddles down. Oh, so many options. All right, let's start with a darker color, the Payne's Gray. I also wanted to tell you guys about a collaboration I'm doing. My very first collab. I was invited by uh, Laurie Houston Art to join in on their Thursday night collab and that's happening next week so there'll be um lewis mckay art and angela bliss art and myself and obviously laurie houston art those colors look pretty cool together i haven't quite decided what uh, what type of painting i'm going to do for the club yet I'm going to have to get it done shortly because I need it up and ready to go. I think there's a bit of a lump in that one. Let's go to the brass. This is brass. Oh, I hope I've got enough paint here. Uh, oh, I've got my iridescent white, haven't I? Let's put that in there.
Yes, I am a little bit worried about how much paint I've got here. I do have a little bit of black here I could add in. But let's use up all these colours first, I think. Alright, I think we've used pretty much all of it. So I'm now going to put, I do have a bit of black if I want to add it on the outside. Maybe I'll put a little bit over here. Just to fill that out a little bit. Alright. Nice. All right. I am quite concerned that I don't have enough paint. What are my options? I have this blue here that I was going to use to wet down the corners. But what I might do. So I might make a little bit more iridescent white up first. This is not what you want to be doing. Because I'm not going to have a chance to really test this either to make sure it's the right thing. And this. Just quickly mix up a little bit extra iridescent white. Put around the outside. Alright, so I've made up some more iridescent white. Just laying around the outside here just to make sure I've got enough. I think that'll work better. I might just take a little bit through it. Yeah, I'm happier with that now. All right. Yeah, it's white mix ready. Alright, getting a nice white mix on. Try not to drip it in anything except for this cup. Put a little bit towards the end there as well. Let's start. Hmm. I think I'll go this way. Wow. <laughs> okay. 
I am going to turn this around. I'm going to swipe the other way. I haven't got a huge amount of movement in there. This is something I really need to try and start getting some movement. I don't want to hit that black there. So yeah, um, it's also going to be my first premiere next Thursday. So I'll be online to chat with everybody. And uh, yeah, it's going to be fun. So let me think. I'm going to come back this way. Okay, it's blended a little bit more than I was expecting. I'm going to use a smaller palette knife now and do the outer edges. Let's see how that goes. Might take the gloves off. I don't want to dip them. Is that going to do anything there? Yeah, that's nice. Might take the white across. Make it nice and light. Let's try that. So I don't want too much of the uh, orangey colour. I've got a lot of that through the centre. Mmm, it's good. So I like this through here. I just wanted a bit of interest. I really like this and this. They are on the outer edge. So I'm not sure how well I'm going to be able to keep it. So I'm just going to try and get a little bit of this out. tricks we have to do to try and keep stuff. All right, I'm going to use a bit of this blue on the edges here to help slide. It's time to tilt. <sighs> Wish me luck, guys.
Let's just put a few little little bits through. I don't want to get too carried away. Nice. Okay. I think I'm done. You just missed me drop a cup on here so i've covered up the mess <laughs> with uh, a bit of paint solid color here that's a shame i've got a feeling i've got a lump under here as well but it looks quite big and i don't know if i can get it out without completely stuffing things up. Mm, I just don't know. But I'm loving this bit through here, which is the main main focus. And we've got some yellows going through here. So I'll bring you down in a minute for a wet look. Okay, here is the wet look. And um, these colors very different for me um yeah this is uh i can't wait to see this dry because it's it's got all that shine in it i'm looking forward to seeing i like this corner with the uh the the gray paints gray and the yellow and the white looks really good together actually and then the lacing through here is gorgeous We've got a few different colours going through there. And then a bit of negative space here. And this is where I, <laughs> I dropped the cup on it. So I just added some colour through there to cover it up. Hopefully that works all right. I might have to come in with a brush or something. But yeah. Got some more negative space here that looks really good. Um, this is probably my least favorite part, but I like the bit of teal going, not teal, turquoise going through there. Um, I wish it had come through a bit more. It's a bit, bit of an interest piece. And, um, and just a little bit down there. Compositions turned out. Fairly well. I'm glad I added the stripes in. I think that just helped it a little bit along to be not quite so flat. And yeah, I really love this lacing through here. So I'll bring you back when it's dry. Okay, here is the dry result. And uh, looking at this, it uh, the colours that uh, it has in it, with the added green from the yellow and blue blending um, it makes me think of a tropical fish or something like that I mean this shape here looks like the nose of a fish with the scales and stuff I don't know that's just me <laughs> but uh, let's have a look at some shine through there so it's got quite a bit of shine And it's shining all over. The, the bits that I put in later tend to shine a bit more, which is interesting. So I don't know if that's because it's not stretched. So I'm guessing when you put your um, metallics down, they have um, mica in it. 
which is what makes it shine. But when you stretch it out, uh, there's less amount of mica over, you know, the area. It's spread out. Whereas when you just pop it down like this, it's uh, a lot shinier. So yeah, this lacing through here has a lot of dimension through it. It's pretty cool. I like this lacing. My cat is asking for his dinner. Oh. And I also like this bit through here. Um, where I dragged it through, it's got some darker, darker lines through it. Yeah, so there we go. This is a very tropical, very shiny. Uh, I'd love to know what you think in the comments below. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. And uh, I shall see you all in the next one. Bye.